Hi, this is Steph Mischuk with KillerSites.com and KillerPHP.com. This video tutorial is a web design basics video tutorial, and it's meant to clarify a commonly uh, asked question. I find that one of the most difficult things that web designers have when they're first, well, people learning web design is linking from one page to the next. The hyperlink, the link tag, uh, is the heart of what makes the web work because it allows the web to be interconnected. Another thing we're going to talk about, well, first I'm going to show you how to link from one page to another. And another thing we're going to do is we're going to look over a basic concept, the uh, theory of paths. This is what is actually the source of a lot of web designers' problems is they don't understand paths properly. So when you understand paths, you understand linking from one page to the next and you avoid all kinds of errors. And at the same time, of course, you're going to learn about how to properly link from one page to another. That said, if, of course, you're uh, more than a very beginner at web design, this, this particular video is probably going to bore you. So you, uh, you're probably not going to want to watch this one. But if you're a total beginner, totally green, and you're having trouble with, with hyperlinks and linking from one page to an X, then this is a very good video for you. What I've done is I've created a few basic web pages inside this folder on my desktop. Now, before I go on, if you're a Mac user, this all applies to the Mac as well, although things are going to look a bit different for you. You can still follow along though. So what I've done is created a couple of pages and I created an empty folder here and we'll get into using these very shortly. So first let's launch the first page and it says page one and page one of course has a link here and page one links to page two. Now you see this error file not found. This is the error that a lot of people have when they're trying to link from one page to an X. If I do this with Internet Explorer, let me just open up the same file with Internet Explorer, and I, I click the link, again, you get this page cannot be, be displayed error. So what we're going to do now is look at why this page cannot be displayed. So this is the page that we were uh, clicking uh, where the link was, was on and we were clicking the link in that page and was trying to find this page but it was not launching. So let's take a look at the code. So we're going to open, well I'm just going to hit edit. So it opens up this simple text editor. Now if you look at the hyperlink tag, the href says it's equal to page-1.html. As you can see here, we're looking for page dash two. So let's just save that. Control save, file save. And we're going to relaunch this. And uh, let me just close this. We'll click on that. And of course it gets us back to, we got, we're on page two here, right? So I go back to page one. This is page one. And I check out page two and it gets us to page two. So the link works. Again, this is really simple stuff, I know, but you want to make sure if you're getting that, that error page that we saw earlier, you want to make sure that the name of your page matches exactly the name of, uh, of where you want to go to, where you're linking to, right? So this is very important. So let's see another way how we can reproduce that error. Let's say you're getting the error, even though the name of the page in your link, this name here, matches the name of this page. For some reason, it may not work. And the reason it's probably not working is because of something called paths. So what does that mean? Well, let me just demonstrate this and I think it will become clear. Let's say you're linking to a page. This is the page we're here, page uh, two. And page two happens to be in the folder called level two. Now, if we launch page two again and we try and go there, we get that error again. And the reason we're getting that error is because it can't find page two, of course, right? Document not found. The reason it can't find page two is because page two is now actually in the folder called level two. So let's just, we're going to have to change our link to tell the browser to look for page two 
in the level two folder. So let's do that now. So we're going to hit edit. And this is how we do it. We just, I'm just going to paste in level two and I put a slash. This is a forward slash because it's leaning forward. This key on the PC is actually just um, shares the key with the question mark. So it's just a forward slash against leaning forward. This is the opposite of the uh, backslash, which is found. This is a backslash. It's sort of leaning backwards. So what does the slash tell us? This tells the computer that we want to look inside. This is this is a folder we want to look inside of. Now we got to put a slash because if we don't put a slash, it's going to assume that this is one big file. Or if you put a space, this is one this is one file. This is a file name. The slash basically tells the computer that we're going into another folder or another directory. Now in this case, the folder is level two. So that's why we have the slash. So let's save this. And we're going to launch this page. And we check it out. And of course, we're hitting page two. So let's check, let's click this link that takes us back to page one. And we'll see what happens. Ah, we have a problem. Again, the problem's exactly the same thing. It's the same, excuse me, we have the exactly the same problem in page two. That link no longer works. Why? Because we've now moved where page two is. It's actually inside the folder level two. And so it can't find the uh, page one, right? So why? Because when you have a link like this, where you don't specify a different directory as we did or a different folder, it's the browser assumes that page one in this case is actually sitting on the same level, say it's sitting in the same folder as page as page one. So you're not because we're not telling it to go anywhere. We say just you know page one is right here. Excuse me, page.html is right here. So what we need to do is we need to tell the computer where to find uh, page one. Now here's something is going to be a little confusing for some of you. This is how you do it. You go dot dot slash. When you have this piece of text here, dot dot slash, that tells the, the browser that we're going up one level <laughs> in the folder hierarchy or the directory hierarchy. This could be a little bit difficult for some people to grasp. So just bear with me. So you think about it, we go up, this is the this is the, the level, this is the top level. So because we're going down like this, that's level two. And let's say I created another folder. I'll say, we'll call it level, uh, we can call it level three, we can call it anything we like really. This would be level uh, three, right? So we're going deeper. Think of it as like a, a stack, if you will. So this is the top of the stack, right? as far as this page is concerned or for starting from this is the starting point so this is level two so it'd be down one level in the stack and it would be down two levels in the stack right so if we edit this page this tells us we are down one level in the stack so basically when you have dot dot slash like this in front of the name you're telling the browser we're going up one level we're going backwards so page two knows it has to go up See the up arrow? It goes up to page one. So let's say, um, that's even higher up. So let's say we have page two and we'll put it in level level three here. Let me just edit it. I'm gonna call it, uh, I'm just gonna call it oops, three. In this case, because if level, th because this page is actually two levels deep, right? Let me make this very clear. See, this is the top level. One, two. Because it's two levels down, let me edit this. We have to put two of these. Does that make sense? Because each of these that the browser sees, it means go up one level. So since we're two levels deep here, we have to go up two levels. So like this. So now we're going up two levels, right? Let me just save this. Oh, this is page three. Let me save that. So let's actually, um, even though I called it page two, it doesn't matter because it's uh, the links and all that matter. So here it is. If we go to page one, watch what happens. It works. Why? Because we told it to go up two levels. 
All right, we're almost done here. So let's say you're in page one here and you want to link down to level f this page two down here. Let's actually change this name so just so it's uh, it's clear. So I'm just going to call it page three, although you can call it anything all you want. So let's say you wanted to link from page one, which is two levels up, down to page three. Well, you're going to have to tell um, you're going to have to tell page one, the page one link, where to go. So you have to go down to, through level two, and then you got to go into folder level three, right? So let's do that in our code right now. So I'm going to edit, and I'm just going to just going to paste this so I just remember the name of the page. So let me just create a new link, and this is going to check out page three which is two levels down. So how do we do that? Well, we know page 3.html, so it's going to call, say, 3. That's the actual name of the page we want to open. We know that page 3.html is not in level 2, right? This is, this is the folder, if you remember, right? It's not in level 2. It's actually in folder level 3, which is below folder level 2 or inside of folder level 2, right? So what we need to do, whoops, what we need to do is tell it that. So we're gonna go like this. We're gonna go first go to level two and then go to folder level three and here's our page. So so we're we're giving the browser the path to this page. We know this is a page because it's got the dot extension here. We know these are folders because they have no extensions and there's they're preceded by the slashes. We have our slashes here. So you're starting to see. So if you want to go to see, you're starting to see how, since we want to go to a file in page dash three, we have to tell it specifically where it is. We can't just say go to level three alone. We have to say, no, no. First you go to level two, and then in the folder level two, you got to look for level three, and then here's our page. So let's see if that will work. I'll save that. Save this. Let's go here, page one. See, check out page three. Ah, it works. Why? Because the path to page three was specifically specified in the link, as we saw. We can go view, page source. Let me see. So we total level, go to level two folder, then level three, and here you go. So if you ever find yourself with that annoying error message, and you can't figure out why, it's either because your page names are wrong in your links, or you're not sp specifying the proper path to your particular file. I wanted to give you another look at the, the files, or excuse me, yeah, at the files, uh, so that you get a better idea of the hierarchy. So here it is again, right? We got our level, uh, we got our base, root of the site, level two folder, and our level three folder. So let's look at that with Dreamweaver. Again, here's the base of the site, our level two folder, our level three folder. So as you can see, as, as Dreamweaver displays it, you see there's clearly a hierarchy since, since uh, level, the level three folder is inside the level two folder, and so on. So I hope that this visual representation of the paths of the hierarchy between folders and pages and how they relate to each other will help uh, you understand this very important basic concept in web design. I hope that clarifies that situation. This is a common problem for beginners, so don't beat yourself up if you're having problems. I remember having the exact same problem in my day and uh, it's probably a good idea to create a bunch of web pages or a few of them, put them in different folders and try linking to them and try experimenting with paths.